Okay, I guess that first video I made didn't work, so I'll explain this again. So first of all, what I'm doing here today for this experiment is attempting to isolate DNA from one half of a banana, a ripe banana. So what I've done here is I've taken a banana, mushed it up in this plastic bag, added one half cup of warm water with about a teaspoon of salt, okay? And then I added one teaspoon of dishwashing soap. And I mixed it up really well to get the banana broken up, okay? So this, what this does is lyses the cells and breaks them up to release the DNA, okay? The next thing we're going to do, so as you can see, this has been going for about a minute or two now. You can see I'm just getting the clumps out. The liquid is trying to separate this, the big clumps of the banana into liquid. So I've got some filters here. Okay, and now I'm going to add some ice cold isopropyl rubbing alcohol. All right. And we'll see what happens. This might take a few minutes. Okay, I put some some of this isopropyl now all in a test tube, to make it a little easier. Okay, just one minute here. I'm gonna set this down for one minute. Okay, so we're gonna pour the slowly pour the isopropyl in the mixture. So how this works is the isopropanol is soluble in water. However, DNA is not soluble in isopropanol. Therefore, Isopropanol will precipitate precipitate out a little bit more. Okay, great. Eventually, isopropanol will precipitate precipitate out the DNA. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. Okay, and then I'll come back and finish this off, and I'll show you how we can isolate this DNA. Okay, bye.